Right, well, thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. Um, how has it been? How have you been enjoying your time at the great stage? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, I've just finished my second set, which was on the main stage. Um, it was actually very busy, and then the sun came out, so I was really happy. And it was, okay. Yeah, really good. I had a good response. Which was Perfect. Nice. <laughs> so it's your, it was your second time playing, wasn't it, today? Yeah, I played okay. at the BBC Introducing stage this morning, which was really packed as well. And then the main stage, in Italy. Okay, perfect. Um, so how long have you been into music, and why did you get into it? Honestly, like, I've been doing music my whole life. I can't remember a moment when I wasn't doing it. Um, I started with like kind of theatre stuff, like doing shows, um, kind of dancing and singing and acting and all the kind of the theatre stuff. And then I just decided that I liked singing and music the best. So I took up guitar and kind of just went from there and now I'm here. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, it's, it's been strange. quite a quick ride then sort of thing, I guess, from you know, jamming around in your bedroom to, or playing stages at festivals. Yeah, it was kind of like I, I put, I, I'd been singing for quite a while and people knew that I was trying to do it and then I started putting my stuff online and gigging or and really the social media side of things really kind of took off for me and that's how things started getting noticed with like the Hopes You Devoted To You cover that was now like 12 million views which gets a lot of kind of recognition and it gives me like it's given me lots of opportunities, like gigs like this and uh, stuff with like my management. Uh, so yeah, it's been really good, the, uh, the YouTube videos and all that. <laughs> yeah, it brings me on to my next question actually. It must have been surreal watching a, that song that you did hit 12 million views. It's been shared thousands of times now across the web. <laughs> how did that feel? Well, I mean, what was that like? And, and when it first started ha happening, like, did you expect it to go to where it's got to now? No, not at all, because I, I it was a one take kind of thing. It, right. <laughs> I, I literally sat down, I just learned the songs, I had the chords in front of me and I just recorded it randomly. Like I didn't expect it to be anything like, a lot of videos I'll put like loads of effort into and I'll be like, oh, I hope this does really well. That one, I didn't even really think about it or I didn't really, not that I didn't put effort into it, but it wasn't mean, yeah. like a big thing. So I just recorded it and then um, it got shared on Facebook and it's just now at 12 million, which is, mental to think how many people have seen that video. Yeah, yeah very strange. Really. Um, so when it comes to your music, I mean, was there a particular person or artist that influenced you to, to you know, initially pick it up in the first place? Um, at first, it was kind of Taylor Swift when I was a lot younger. Um, I liked her kind of country stuff because okay. she sung and played guitar and I was like, oh, I like that. And she, all wrote, she wrote all her own songs and like didn't tell anyone the meanings of them or anything. It was just like, all her own music and lyrics and I just I liked the idea of that so that kind of got me into songwriting and gigging with my guitar and now it's kind of more people like I like Corinne Bailey Ray, I like Gabrielle Aplin and uh, people kind of see that from my gigs because I cover a lot of their songs right, the okay. kind of songs I cover on my YouTube as well. Okay so what's it like being on stage performing to people as well do you prefer that to sort of you know at home recording or would you say they're quite different beasts? Uh, I like I like both of them. Um, I don't really have a preference. I suppose record, recording is easy because you can kind of do it as many times as you need to, and it's very relaxed, and I can I can do things again, or it's all at my own pace. But recording, um, performing is quite intense, yeah, and <laughs> yeah, it's like you don't know what's going to go wrong. Like there's so many different aspects to it. It's more nerve wracking and. Obviously, whenever I go to a gig, I don't know what the audience is going to be like. I don't know who's going to be there or what's happening. So, yeah, it's nerve-wracking, but afterwards, I think it outweighs recording because the response I get from people, like, people come up to me and they're like, oh, my God, you're amazing, or oh, my God, where can I find your music? That's the kind of bit that really makes it just amazing. Yeah, like I can imagine that's quite surreal, people coming up to you and, well, adoring fans, I guess you could do <laughs> you know? And that, that again, it's like you're 18, aren't you? I'm just turned 19. Just turned 19. <laughs> so that must be like, that must be quite intense and quite scary. Is it something that you have had trouble dealing with, or would you say it's something you kind of take in your stride and it's just part of it the way you see it? It doesn't happen like all the time, but I've had quite a few people from online. That's strange. Like I was in London, I was just getting on the tube and someone was like, "Oh my god, you're Daisy Clark," and it's like. What? Like in yeah. London, like that's so that strange. Very mad, yeah. um, it's I quite like it down here because I know a lot of people in Cornwall and Cornwall's like my home, so it's really nice when people come up to me and I just I like meeting people that have listened to my music because they're really interested and they're like-minded, so it's nice to meet people like that. But it is very strange when I'm like in a different part of the country or anywhere and someone knows who I am and I'm like, oh my gosh, because. 
I mean, I suppose 12 million people have seen that video, so they might know who. It's a hell of a lot of people. Who I am, yeah. yeah, yeah very so, um, for other artists, aspiring artists, what advice would you give to them, to sort of, in regards to their music and their Um, I think most of it is just being consistent with whatever you're trying to do. So, if you're doing YouTube videos, keep uploading. Like, I just constantly uploaded, like, whenever I could, when I was at school, that I was just uploading all the time, and that's when my covers and my subscribers were going up and you know just gigging and doing it consistently don't get knocked down by other people because what do other people know really like <laughs> i've had people to tell me before that oh you can't do that or you won't achieve that but i mean i have kind yeah. of so yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh yeah just don't don't listen to anyone okay. like that so what's in the future for daisy park hopefully just more original music being released um i think my original Worlds Away is being released today. Okay. So, but well, I say I think it is being released today. It just hasn't been released yet. The timing is, yeah. But um, so more original music. Um, songwriting is like a huge passion of mine. So to release more original stuff is like amazing. I can't wait. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks very much for taking the time to answer thank our questions and sit with us. <laughs> much appreciated. Hope you have a good, great estate as well. Thank you. No worries. Thanks very much.